Okay, so wooden leg presses, um, I find uh, I put my feet medium with the part, well, pretty close together on this for the first two working sets. Now I'll aim for 30 reps on this. I'll have, it, as I said here, the higher you go up, the more hamstring that's involved. Okay, so that's the reason I put them here. Number two, another thing that I see so many people, you know, spouting on about is range of motion in a fucking leg press. The range of motion is where you can literally sit down and pull your knee to. And I'll show you this in a second. So if you're pulling your knees too far back and you look like you're about to fucking do pile driver in a porn movie, that's not where you should be with it. Because the minute your butt elevates off that seat, you're compromising your lower back. Everybody has different flexibility levels. Now the further you can get your leg down, brilliant. I know I can't get my leg down that far. It's probably to do my narrow hips, hip flexors, probably not working enough on my flexibility as well. So there's a myriad of things and obviously I will continue to work over that over the next four weeks and show you guys that you can progress that. But the minute my butt lifts off that, then I'm literally compromising my safety. And I need to, like I see this, you know, with these people going on about foreign police and all this stuff. Yeah, you, look, don't get me wrong. If you're doing a squat and that's your squat, that's stupid. But like, there, like there's loads of different um, studies, even with a squat that's only quarter squats, for vertical jumps, so it depends again what you're doing it for. If you're a basketball player doing full length squats to floor to the top, probably a waste of time because you're not utilizing it. Again, I'm bodybuilding, so I want to develop the muscle. Number two, I never lock out on these. You've probably seen the horror stories and horror, horror videos and everything else, people hypersetting knees. It's not even that. What it is for me is constant tension. Even if I'm going to take a rest, there's going to be a slight bend in that quad to keep the tension on there. And because I'm going to 30 reps, I might have to rest pause it a couple of times. So I'll show you exactly what I mean by range of motion. So if I sit on this bad boy, my butt's on that plate. That's my range of motion. I go any further back and I have to pull that. What happens to my butt? Lifts off that pad. I do not want that. I do not want that. So you can bang on with your horse shit in the comments and be like, oh, he fucking do the quarter squat. That's my range of motion. My quads get pumped to fuck on this, and that's all that matters. Also, I am using a narrower stance. So again, when I'm out here, which I will do afterwards, I will be able to come back a little bit further. Not a fucking great deal, but a little bit further. Sometimes I put my hands on my quads, mainly to feel them, kind of get that muscle mind connection. Do not be pushing like that. Just reduce the fucking weight. But you will see me sometimes with my hands here or here or here. It's just because I'm feeling the muscle and trying to put tension on certain body parts. Because my IT band is compromised in that injury and my hamstring, I do have to be a little bit careful. Hence the beautiful pink knee sleeves. Boom. Okay. Again, one thing I will say is, you know, be careful of these exercises and know what you can do. So we're going in for 30 reps. I usually count tens just to get through it. All right, let's go. Oh, good with some RS support here. So as you can see, I got, I think, 27, 28, whatever the fuck it was, reps. Not quite happy with that because I was planning going a little bit heavier, but it is what it is. So next time I'll try and beat that. Um, so I'll do two sets on that, and then I'll show you the other set where my feet are at wider. Um, I will take a little bit extra rest on these. Probably about two minutes, just get my breath back. So yeah, all right, cheers guys.